to RPV Resonance Chemistry. Now let's continue our lectures on organometallic uh, series of videos. Today I am going to discuss with uh, some of the problems uh, solution that is a problem solving session on organometallic compounds uh, especially 18 electron rules problem solving session. Now I will select the like uh, some of the previous year CSAR and gate questions and solve the one by one question very recent years like 2019 to 2015 okay from uh, recent year to past years okay so now uh, let's look down the board so this is the first question which is given in the june 2019 based on only 18 electron rule so this is june 2017 june 2016 so the june exam is related to the or 18 electron rule very uh, very close up okay now i'll solve the some of the problems so due to the uh, not availability of the uh, phase and now i'll solve the like a three problems in a single step okay now so first problem let's look down the first problem donor mode of nitrosilic gas depends upon the metal now consider the following complexes okay they are given the a b c d so four complexes so among the four one is diars the diars indicates uh, some of the com like a uh, like a complex representation then the complex or complexes that means the complex or complexes that do not exhibit that do not exhibits bent nitrosyl coordination mode so bent nitrosyl coordination mode so among the four which one does not exist uh, bent coordination mode that means uh, so which complex uh, do not uh, exhibits the bent nitrosyl bent nitrosyl mode so option a a and b or option b c and d option c d only or option b b only okay now we know that uh, how to calculate the 18 electron rule okay so if in case of bent nitrosyl in neutral method one electron donor in in case of uh, like a uh, oxidation uh, sorry in case of bent nitrosyl that is one electron donor in neutral method uh, linear nitrosyl three electron donor in neutral method we know that okay now let's look down the options sir. option number a so that is uh, ir cl co pph3 taking twice n so here it is the positive charge here it is the positive charge very simple one okay now we know that uh, uh, iridium is come from co uh, cobalt series cobalt rhodium iridium that indicates uh, s2 d7 s2 d7 total nine electrons for iridium again chlorine is one electron donor carbonyl is a two electron donor so triphenyl pos uh, like a triphenyl phosphonyl two triphenyl phosphonyls are there each triphenyl phosphonyl two electron donor two into two plus we don't know the x okay so x here Positive charge that indicates a subtracted the total number of electrons or negative charge is present added to the total number of electrons. Okay. So generally, so 9 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus x minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 cancel. Just calculate 9 plus 2, 11, 11 plus 4, 15. So 15 plus x. So let's imagine. So if x is equal to 1, then that is the bent mode. So it is possible for the 16 electron. If x is equal to 3, so then that is the like a linear mode okay that means a nitrosyl is the linear mode then it follows the 18 electron so some uh, like majority cases 18 electron is stable and 16 electron also it exhibits this stability okay so that means uh, a yeah, it is possible to exhibit the bent mode a yeah, it is possible to exhibit the bent mode okay so a is not a correct option okay so a yeah, it is possible let's imagine a yeah, it is possible for bent mode so if it is bent mode uh, if bent NO, then total number of electrons is 16. Okay, so total number of electrons are 16. Now let's look at the option numbers B. A very simple one. So that is the B ruthenium chlorine PPH3 taken twice, NO taken twice plus. Okay, so very easier. Ruthenium comes under like iron family, iron, ruthenium, osmium. So yes, 2 D6, that is 8 electrons. Now here 8 for ruthenium. Chlorine one electron for neutral method. So PPH3 like in previous one, two, two, two is a four. Plus uh, here two nitrosyls are there. So two nitrosyls. Here it may be possible two are bent or one is uh, one is bent mode or one is in, uh, like a normal mode or both are in linear mode. Three types of uh, possibilities are there. Now let's look at the possibility. So here it, it imagine two X. Okay. So two X or X plus Y. Let's imagine x plus y so here positive charge means that is a negative that means a subtracted from the total electrons so one one cancel now 8 plus 2 2 is 4 8 plus 4 12 electrons 12 plus uh, x plus y 12 plus x plus y we don't know so let's imagine in first case if x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 
So 12 plus 2, 14 electrons only. In second case, if x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. So that means 12 plus 1, 13, 13 plus 3, 16. Okay. So in third case, 12 plus 3 plus 3. That means both are in the linear form. Okay. So that is the case. So 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 12, 18 electrons. Okay. So here, 16 electrons is also possible. They did not, uh, uh, they did not restrict the it follows the 18 electron rule or it follows the 16 electron rule. So that is imagination. If it is possible or not. Okay. So here also in case of B, it is also possible for the like a uh, bent molecule. In case of the second one, this is the most probability one. So one is a bent one and another one is there like linear one. So that is the second one. So B is also, it is possible. It is possible then. It, it obeys the 16 electron rule here. when it is obeys the 16 electron rule now let's move on to the third option C so cobalt NCS like diars taken twice and O positive charge so cobalt we know that 9 plus NCS one electron CNR is the two electron donor but the NCS is the one electron donor so diars so diars is nothing but like this this, this kind of mighty so two arsenium is there, that is uh, ortho position to arsenium. So here methyl groups are there, oxygens are there, okay. So these kind of uh, element, that means uh, each each arsenium ligand, it donates four. Here they are giving the two diars, that is uh, two fours are eight. Plus nitrosyl, that is the X. Uh, again, one more thing is, whether it is uh, linear or non-linear, positive charge is there, that is the subtracted from total electrons. So one, one cancel. So nine plus uh, two fours are eight, uh, eight plus X. Okay, so now we don't know the total number of electrons. So 17 plus x. So here also two possibilities are there. So if x is equal to 1, 17 plus 1, 18 electrons. If x is equal to 3, that is a 17 plus 3, 20 electrons. So 20 electrons are less, uh, like less stable. That's why uh, linear molecule is not possible. Here only bent is possible. Here only bent is possible. They are asking about, do not follow the bent mechanism, bent mode. So that means uh, C is also, C it is also possible for formation of bent one. Now let's look at the uh, final one. Very uh, pretty easier problems when you solve the uh, content mode. So without content, uh, so all are similar to the answers. Okay. Now, so the fourth one that is uh, chromium CN5 NO. So chromium CN5 NO nitrosyl. So here it is the 3 minus. If minus charge is there, added to the total electron. Positive charge is there, subtracted from the total electrons. So chromium is a 6 electron donor. CN, 5 CNs are there, 5 electrons, so 5 into 1, 5 electrons, plus a nit uh, nitrosyl ligand, we don't know. So it is possible. Now 3 electrons, positive 3. We don't know the total number. Okay. So 6 plus 5, 11, 11 plus 3, 14 electrons. 14 plus X is equal to something. Okay. So let's imagine if X is equal to 1. So 14 plus 1, 15, unstable. Or if x is equal to 3, 14 plus 3, 17, unstable. So it cannot exhibit. 17 is uh, some, some more possibility, some more uh, relevant to the like a formation of unstable complexes. But 15 is not possible. 15 is not possible with the uh, like a, a, a hexa coordination system. Hexa coordination system. That means uh, like uh, here we will get the odd number of electrons in both the cases. But uh, here it is not possible to predict the bent nitrosyl mode in option D. I think it is clear okay all the mode it is possible okay so if x is equal to 1 that is the bent mode so if in case of a uh, first option bent mode exists exhibits a two, a 16 electrons here bent mode one bent and one another one linear mode that is the 16 electron in third one bent mode it, it obviously produces the 18 electron stable complexes but d it cannot produces the either linearity or uh, bent mode somewhat linearity is better so bent is does not existed in the system bent mode does not existed in this system. So somewhat uh, linear molecule, it may be possible to exhibit the 17 electron complex. Okay. So then uh, what about our options? So then find the correct option A and B. So both are exhibits C and D. D is not exhibits, but C is exhibited. Okay. Option C, D only. So D only is correct. So this is the very simple question. When you go through the like content board, when you watch the my 18 electron rule video, you can easily solve these kind of questions. This is very recent year, June 2019 question. Okay. Now let's move on to the like uh, another questions. I think it is clear, guys. Okay. 
Now let's look at June 2017 problem. June 2017 problem. So choose the isoelectronic pair. That means uh, choose the equivalent electronic systems. Okay, so they are given the A to B. So then find uh, among the four which 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 of the pair having the same electrons. So A is V C O 16 times. So when it means uh, S2 D3, that means uh, five electrons. So six six uh, carbon is there. Six two are twelve electrons. Totally it is a 17 electron donor. So then what about B? So B is the copper, eta 5 Cp, Cu. Okay, copper is belongs to the S1 B10, that means 11 electrons. So eta 5 is the 5 electron donor, Cu is the 2 electron donor. 11 plus 5, 16, 16 plus 2, 18 electron donor. Now what about the option C? So Co, Co4 minus. Okay, so cobalt is a 9 electron donor, 4 troja are 8 electrons from carbonyl. And 1, one positive charge, one negative charge is added to the total electronic system. So then it is also 18 electron system. Now what about D? So IR, Cl, CO, PPH3 taken twice. So uh, iridium, uh, cobalt series, that means uh, 9 electrons, chlorine 1 electron, carbonyl 2 electrons. So here PPH3 taken 2 times, so that means 2, 2 is 4 electrons. So 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 4, 16 electron donor. So among the 4, so which pair having the similar electrons, which pair having the same number of electrons. So B and C, it having the same number of 18 electrons. So let's look at the option. So A and B is not correct. B and C is correct. C and D is not correct. So uh, A and D is also not correct. So option number B is correct. Option number B is correct. Now let's look at uh, another problem that is given in the June 2016. June 2016. Pretty easy problems. These kind of problems are very easier. Okay. So identify the species. Those obeys 18 electron rule from the following. Those obeys 18 electron rule from the following. So they are clearly mentioned the structure. Okay. So this is the June 2016 problem. So like let's look at the problem number A. So like uh, option number A. So that is the copper cobalt. Okay. Now here Cp is a 5 electron donor. So then, copper is 11 electron donor, 11 electrons, it having the uh, outermost valence electrons are 11, so carbonyl is 2. So totally 11 plus 5, 16, 16 plus 2, 18 electrons. Okay, now what about B? So B is the system that is uh, manganese, CO, CO, like or one. So 5, five for uh, Cp, Mn is the 7 electron donor, 2 carbonyls are 4 electrons. So that means 5 plus 7, 12, 12 plus 4, 16 electrons. 12 plus 4, 16 electrons. Now what about C? So that is the like a C, CR, CR, CO, CO, CO. So now here CP is 5 electron donor. So then chromium is 6 electron donor. So again these three are the 6 electron donor. Totally 7, like a 12 plus 5, 17 electrons. Now what about D? So here the system, so that is vanadium, CO, CO, CO. So 5 electrons from the Cp, again 5 outermost electrons from the vanadium S2 D3 system, again uh, like uh, 4 carbonyls that is 8 electrons, 18 electrons from the option B, from option D. So identify the species, those obeys 18 electron rule, here also they are given the like A, B, C, D, like a uh, small A for A and B, so here it is the capital S, capital B, capital D. Okay, now they are given the like plenty of options. Okay, I, I, I forget those options written. Okay, now here, so among the four, which one obeys the 18 electron rule? First one obeys the 18 electron rule, B does not obey, C does not obey, but D is the obey. Okay, so A and D is the correct answer. A and D is the correct answer. I think uh, so. First one 11 plus 5, 16, 16 plus 2, 18. So last one 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 8, 18 electrons. So when you go through the uh, like my previous videos, you will solve the direct problems. When you observe the question, then definitely you will you'll get the answers uh, on observing the question only. Okay, so now let's, let's move on to the some other problems. Okay, now let's solve the some other problems which are given in the recent CSI questions. So this is December 2015, June 2015, December 2014. Okay, now let's look at the problem. So the number of valence electrons provided by ruthenium tricarbonyl fragment. Okay, so towards fragment towards a cluster bonding. So generally, so the number of val uh, number of valence electrons. Uh, Number of valency, like a number of valency electrons are number of electrons uh, in cluster bonding formation, in cluster formation, 
is equal to the total valency electrons minus 12 for the like mono atom system okay so this is the formula okay generally they are given in the ru co taken twice then uh, total number of valency electrons now we know that so ruthenium is 8 it is from the like iron family so 3 carbonyls are there 3 carbonyls is nothing but uh, so that is 3 to are 6 electrons 8 plus 6 14 electrons so we are filled to uh, 14 electron compounds this is not a like a csr level question so but they are asking about uh, total number of valency electrons provided by a complex towards the cluster bond formation towards the cluster bond formation so then so generally this is the total valency electrons but the cluster bond formation is equal to the so total val valency electrons minus 12 so 14 minus 12 that is a 2 electrons so option number d is correct not b okay so pretty like a conceptualization question so these are the like a somewhat uh, some twist based questions okay so option number d is correct in uh, question number five uh, question number four that is given in the Dece December 2015. Now let's look down the problem number five. So that is June 2015. The binding modes of NO again they are given in the nitrosyl binding mode. So in 18 electron compounds, okay. So the they both are uh, follows the 18 electrons. So then what is the mode of uh, nitrosyl mode? Nitrosyl ligand, okay. So whether both in both the complexes it is linear or both the complexes it is bent or linear bent or bent linear. So they are given the, those kind of options. So now let's uh, uh, count the uh, valence electrons so cobalt, CO taken twice, NO. Okay, so another complex and nickel, CP, NO. So these are the two complexes. So if, uh, uh, let's imagine, let's, uh, nitrosyl ligand, let's uh, imagine, Okay, let us assume, so nitrosyl ligand is x, so then we will find the x value, if x is equal to 1, then that is the bent, or if x is equal to 3, that is the linear, so in neutral method, so we know that, so this is the electron contribution from the linear, like a linear nitrosyl and bent nitrosyl, so let us assume, so NO is x, okay, now let, let's calculate the, like a cobalt, 9 electrons, so 3 carbonyls, 6 electrons, we don't know the NO, so that's why we assumed it is as x, so according to the statement of the question, so it follows the 18 electron rule. Okay, 9 plus 6 15. So 15 plus x is equal to 18. So x is equal to 18 minus 15, that is 3. So x is equal to 3, that indicates uh, it is the linear moiety. It is the linear bend of uh, NO, linear bend of, uh, like linear mode of NO. Now let's look down the another one. So nickel is a 10 electron donor, 10 electron contributor. Okay, now CP is 5 electrons, x is nothing. Okay. Now it is also obeys the 18 electron rule from the statement. Now 15 plus x is equal to 18. So x is equal to 18 minus 15. x is equal to 3 electron donor. It is also linear. So both the cases will get the linear linear. Okay, both the cases I think uh, uh, some of the like bent linear, bent bent. Somewhere uh, one of one option is wrong. Okay, so both the linear linear is correct. Now I'll uh, just. Uh, linear bent let's imagine okay so then option number a is linear and the linear is correct okay so if i am wrong in the a b c d so then you correct it uh, so but the option is both are linear is correct both are linear is correct now let's look down the uh, question number six i think it is also very uh, simple question so the hepacities of uh, x and y of the irene moieties in the diamagnetic complex of uh, so something eta x C6H6 ruthenium and eta y C6H6 uh, respectively. Okay, so that is also like uh, uh, simply it is the RU C6H6 taken twice. So they are they are asking about uh, hepacities of uh, first and second benzene ligands. Hepacity of first and uh, second benzene ligands. Now let's imagine eta x power C6H6 and ruthenium eta power y is equal to C6H6 y in, into C6H6. So these two are the complexes. Now we know that ruthenium comes under iron. Iron means S2D6 that is 8 electrons. Now so it obeys the 18 electron rule in the diamagnetic complex. Okay. So if you want to follow the 18 electron rule so then substitute the like option A, option B, option C, option D value. So which option will produce the 18 electron rule that is the correct one. That is the correct one. Now option A. So if x is equal to 4, uh, if x is equal to 6, and y is equal to 6. Now 6 plus uh, 6 plus 6 or 12, 12 plus 8 to 20. So first one it does not follow the 18 electron rule. Now b. So now first uh, x is equal to 4, then y is equal to 4. So 4 plus 8 to 12, 12 plus 4 16. It is also not follows. C. 
okay so option a is 4 that means x is equal to 4 then y is equal to 6 4 plus 8 12 12 plus 6 18 electrons it follows the 18 electron rule now final one okay so option a that means x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 2 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 6 16 electrons so among the four so option c only gets the 18 electron rule so that's why it obeys the like a 4 and a 6 4 and a 6 so eta 4 this is the complex of um, eta 4 c6 h4 ruthenium eta 6 c6 h6 so this is the original complex so it, it obeys the 18 electron rule let's uh, uh, like uh, confirm that so 4 plus 8 plus 6 so 12 plus 6 18 electron rule 18 electron so these are the previous year CSA problems. Now just solve the some of the gate previous year problems. Okay. Now let's solve the some of the previous year gate questions. So the very recent year questions. Uh, gate 2019, gate 2018, gate 2017. This is the previous year gate 2005 question. Okay. Now let's look down the problem. I think it, it is already discussed in my like hepatocity videos. Okay. Now the correct molecular representation of uh, tungsten CP taking twice CO2. Okay. So if CP is the cyclopentadienide, CP is the cyclopentadienide. So among the four options, which option is correct? Among the four options, which option is correct? So uh, indirectly they are asking about a uh, haptocity of uh, two cyclopentadienyl, two cyclopentadienyl ligands. Okay. Now let's move on to the like a calculation of uh, 18 electron rule. So here tungsten CP taken twice, CO taken twice. Okay. Tungsten comes from uh, like a chromium family that is S1 D5 six electrons. We don't know the two CPs. Again, if two carbonyls that contributes the four electrons here, two S. Okay. So R it may be X plus Y. Let's imagine X plus Y. Okay. So here it is equal to the 18 electrons. Then, so 6 plus 4, 10 electrons plus X plus Y is equal to 18 electrons. So X plus Y is equal to 8 electrons. Okay. So just uh, substitute those values, uh, then we will get the, we will require the 8 electrons only, not more than 8 or not less than 8. Okay. So whenever, so X plus Y, that means two CPs having the 8 electrons, then it obeys the 18 electron rule. Okay. So now let's look at the options. So option A, 1 plus 3. Here, option A, only 4 electrons, 1 plus 3, four, only 4 electrons, this is wrong, this is wrong, now option B, so 1 plus 5, only 6 electrons, it is also wrong, so then what about C, so 3 plus 5, it is 8, eight electrons, now our requirement is also fulfilled by the option C, now what about uh, D, so here both are 5, 5, 5 plus 5, 10, so here more than 18 electrons, so this is also wrong, more than 18 electrons, this is also wrong, so option C is correct, option C is correct. So the same question in previous year, the same question which is uh, asking in the numerical type question, numerical type question. So the total number of valence electrons in the same option. So tungsten, eta 3 CP, eta 5 CP, CO taken twice. Okay. So the same question uh, repeated in the 2019, 2019. Then how many like uh, valence electrons are contributed? How many valence electrons just contributes the 18 electron rule? So tungsten is a 6. So one CP is 3 electrons and another CP is 5 electrons. Two carbonyls are four electrons. Six plus three, nine, nine plus five, like 14, 14 plus four, 18 electrons. So here answer is 18 electrons. So this single question, uh, like two times given in the uh, gate, 2019. Okay, so these are the pretty easier problems. Now 2017, the haptocity of a cyclopentatriene. Okay, so in MO, C7H8, that means uh, cyclohaptatriene system, CO3. Okay, now it, it, it obeys the 18 electron rule, then how many electrons are required uh, for fulfilling the 18 electron rule of the particular complex? So molybdenum comes under like a chromium family, chromium, molybdenum, tungsten, so 6 electrons. So we don't know, that, let's imagine that is X. So then 3 carbonyls, that is 6 electrons, it obeys the 18 electron rule, let's imagine. Okay, so 6 plus 6 are 12 electrons, 12 plus X is equal to 8, uh, so X is equal to 18 minus 2, 6 electrons only. X is equal to 6 electrons, then haptocity is equal to the 6, then haptocity is equal to the 6, that is the gate 2017 question. Now, to the final question in this session, so the, the neutral complex which follows 18 electron rule, so eta phi, so among the 4, which one it follows the 18 electron rule, just, just calculate the uh, 4 options. So eta phi 2 times, that means 5 plus 5 plus iron is 8 electrons, S2 D6, then carbonyls are 2 carbonyls are 4 electrons. So 10 plus 8, uh, like 10 plus 8, 18 plus 4, 22 electrons. It is not possible. So now B. So eta 5 is 5 electrons. Molybdenum is the like uh, 6 electrons from the chromium family. 3 carbonyls are 6 electrons. It is only 15 electrons. 
Now what about C? So eta phi two times, that means phi plus phi plus cobalt is 9 electrons, it is the 19 electron complex. Now finally D, so eta phi 5 electrons, rhenium 7 electrons, it came from the manganese technicium rhenium. Okay. Now eta 6 is the 6 electron donor. Eta 6 for the benzene, like it donates the 6 electrons. 5 plus 7, 12, 12 plus 6, 18 electrons. So option D, it follows the 18 electron complex. Option D, it follows the 18 electron complex. So these are the, like uh, previous year, CSCR and GATE, very recent year questions. So uh, these are very helpful for your preparation of uh, June 2020 uh, CSCR exam. Okay. Thank you so much for watching.